Welcome back. I'm JJ Moore. Welcome back to the Tech Bench. Today I have in front of me the Pulsar H from Gate Enterprises along with the Aster 2 and the Quantum Trigger. So what I'm going to show you guys today is how basically how to program your um, Jack, your Pulsar S, your Pulsar H, um, Wolverine, any single solenoid engine to your Aster 2. So if you're running your Aster 2 as an AEG um, or your Titan 2 and you want to transform it into HPA, you can still use your same Titan 2 or Aster 2. And what you're going to do is you're going to buy this connector here. And you can buy these from Gate off their website. Um, it's gateenterprise.com. Use my uh, discount code and you'll get a little deal on them. And what you do is you plug them right into the motor wires. Now, once you do that, you're gonna uh, download Gate Control Station. That's the app. And as you can see, I've already got it pulled up and I'm gonna back out just to show you guys how to scan it and find it. So once you plug in your battery, there's always a serial number and a pin number on the tags of the new um, Aster 2s. So if you have a older unit, it may not have that. So you may have to find it, keep the one in your box. So as you can see, my uh, Bluetooth is on and it did a scan and there's my Aster 2. So now I'm gonna get my pin off of here and it's gonna be a 6HTAM5. When you do that, it'll go through a little check here. It's gonna come up and show you uh, whether you wanna connect or not. Now, as you can see, it says Aster 2 for V2 and it's expert, um, all their new stuff comes with expert. Now, if I, if I see diagnostic codes and it's new, I usually know that it's probably because it's just out of the box and it's just not programmed yet. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and clear those codes. Let me move all this over for you guys so y'all can get a little bit better in frame here. So um, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna clear these codes here and you're gonna hit the ETU, clear those codes. Now we're gonna go back and then this is your dashboard. Now, once we switch from AEG to HPA, we're gonna to wanna to get rid of the 11.1 uh, and we're gonna to wanna to use a 7.4. But just for programming, I wanna show you guys how to do it. So as you can see, it's already set up for HPA. So I'm gonna go back and what we're gonna do is go to dashboard. I'm gonna go here, click this device. Now, what you can see is your firmware here. Whenever you click this device, you can see the trigger type. You can also see whether it's HPA or AEG and you could change it. So we're gonna hit HPA, we're gonna hit save. Now we're gonna go in here and then check these settings. And now you can see it's a single solenoid. Well, at the top right here, you can go from Pulsar D, Pulsar S, or single solenoid. Um, I found out it doesn't make much difference between Pulsar S and single solenoid because they're both single solenoid valves. What you can see is when you switch them, it literally is nothing. Um, so we're gonna go back. Oh, what I wanna show you in this right here, a lot of people are having trouble with their semi shoots really, really good, consistent, great shots, and then their auto drops off. You need to go into your semi and your auto settings. They're, they're set differently. So go to auto, and if you have a, a Titan II, it's gonna say more options or advanced. Click that and it'll drop down a menu with more stuff to click. Um, on your auto, I've found on the semi or auto, around nine is enough DP to run for pretty much anything um, on the Titan II or the Aster II. So if you go over it, you'll notice the engine will start giving like a hissing noise and it'll still function and everything. It's just, it, it's not as crispy. So it's kind of wasting air basically. <clears throat> Gate also did a really good thing. They went in here and put all the terms and what they mean and they can kind of help you out. They did a uh, HPA calibration manual, take you right to their help section, which is crazy. Um, geez, my iPad's going off. But that's what Gate has done. They put a link in the bottom. So they got tons of help out there for you guys. Gate is literally the best for helping you guys. So um, let's go to the trigger. So right away, you're gonna wanna, right now it says expose the light because of course I got it out of the gearbox. So right away, you're gonna wanna Calibrate your trigger and your selector, so you'll always do that. Make sure you do it with the gearbox closed because you can damage the um, electronics without it. 
Um, the second one down is your selector. And as you can see on expert, you can change the settings to whatever you like. And then um, let's see what else we could do here. This right here, tell me how many shots are on it. This thing's got right at 200 shots on it, you can see. I've been doing a lot of testing with the Pulsar H. Great engine. I love the nozzle system on it. Perfect engine. But um, yeah, that's kind of the rundown. If you guys have any questions, I see saying I'm over for HPA. That's because we switched it and it knows that this is not the correct voltage. So always use a 7.4 for HPA. You can use 11.1 for AEG. So I hope that helped. That's the Pulsar H um, or any any single solenoid engine. So y'all thank you. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and follow.